guys. Friday. Anybody got any exciting plans over the weekend? My son's moving out, so we're going to help him move. Oh, you know, shoot. Can't do it. It's all right. A little bit of smoke. How's everybody doing? It's Friday. Friday, Friday, even though it still feels like not weekends with kind of being somewhat of a lockdown. For those that don't know me, I'm Tracy Gorg. I am a healing coach, energy healer, spiritual mentor, channel, intuitive. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Steve. Some of you guys pop up when you come in. Um... So that being said, I use all of that to help you figure out what's wrong, clear it out energetically, and I don't diagnose, I look energetically what's wrong. Not the same thing what doctors do, just understand that. It's all energetically that I look at, which is interesting and it's a lot different than, hi Gloria, than what um, doctors see on your body. So that's why I went undiagnosed a little bit, but I do do all of it. Um, so... That being said, that's how I work with you. I use intuition, I work with your guides, all of that source to help you uh, get well, stay well, and then we work on the mindset because in the class last night we discussed that a lot. Mind, our minds have a lot to do with our healing and where we're at, why we're having the pain and illness. So any questions on that, let me know. I'd be happy to talk about it. So today I wanted to talk about do not let your past dictate today. So that's, that covers a lot of things. Don't, so don't let things like traumas in the past dictate today. Don't let things you were told about yourself dictate today. Don't let schooling, how it was school for you dictate today. Don't let bullying that happened to you dictate today. Don't let even more serious things that might have happened dictate today. Now I'm not saying just ignore it. You need to heal from it. But heal from it and be different today. So it's like things are, you know, like come up for you that, you know, maybe happened in your past the way maybe you were told about something about yourself. Like maybe uh, you were told you were stupid or you were told you're selfish or just things like that. Don't go there today with your with situations that are happening. Now look inside. I mean, you want to be the best you can be. But the thing is, we came to earth. We have purposes. And sometimes it might appear that we're selfish to others or that's just one little example. So let's do with the bullying. Say you were bullying or you didn't have friends when you were younger. Don't let that dictate how you are today, right? Clear out those things. Heal from them and then move forward because if you hold on to them, they will cause you, most likely will cause you illness. So the more you can just be be who you are, know deep within yourself how you are, and not let things that have been said, done, and told to you dictate how you are or react today. Because everything has a reason. Even if you were maybe um, when you were younger selfish, that doesn't mean you are today, okay? And don't let others say that to you and don't take it on. Now work on yourself because because the thing is like selfish is like a tricky subject because it's very important to take care of yourself and it could appear selfish to others, right? So you want to be pay attention to that, um, and and you need to like take care of yourself first because if you don't take care of yourself first, you can't help anybody else. So that's really 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 important for you to do. Okay. So any questions with that? One more time. Don't let your past dictate today. Heal from it, let it go, and be what you are today for yourself, whether that's self-care. Um, if, if something comes up, kind of just release it into the violet flame and just know that you're doing the best you can for yourself. And do the best you can for yourself, right? And that would, first and foremost, being taking care of yourself. Sometimes it appears you're selfish, you know? 
Um, but definitely like the whole bullying or you didn't have friends when you were younger, let that go. These are just two things that came up into my mind. Uh, there's probably a lot more. Um, many people have more serious traumas. Heal from them and let them go. There, were, there was a purpose. There was a purpose for it and you just need to heal from it and let it go. And I know that's like a tough one to hear sometimes. Um, but what else are you going to do with it? It happened. You can't control that it happened. So you've got to like figure out how to heal from it so you can let it go and just live the best life you can. So that would include so the, anything in the past. You don't want it to be carried forward and hold on to you so much because it can call you, cause you pain and illness. And it does it eventually. You can start feeling it, you know, at first, but it eventually will get into your body and actually cause you physical symptoms. Um, so you want to just pay attention to that, okay? And work on yourself and healing all of those things. All right, so that's what I've got for today. Let's do a little bit of healing. Um, and then I'm doing spiritual messages here in a little bit. All right, so sit back and relax. I want you to imagine the violet flame below your feet coming up and around and through your whole body, cleansing, clearing, and purifying everything. Any negative thoughts that come up, even the ones like I talked about today from your past, just put them in the violet flame, right? And then any negativity that's come from others, any arguments you've had, the traffic thing, pulling in front of somebody, um, just throw that in the violet flame. That's just my simple explanation, but anything that you feel it's come from others, put that in the violet flame. And then finally, the consciousness. There's just so much fear, stress, anxiety, hopelessness, helplessness. Just put it in the violet flame. You don't want to hold on to the consciousness. We all can feel it and pick up on it, and it's not ours all the time, right? So just put that in the violet flame. All right, we're going to send that violet flame back up to source. I'm going to put another one in front of you. As things come up when you're getting the healing energy, just put anything in the violet flame. So sit back and relax, and I will just begin sending healing now. Take a deep breath in, hold it, and exhale. Everything that might have come up during that healing, put it in the violet flame, send that violet flame back up to source to transmute it. All right, guys, that's what I have for today. Go have a great day and a great weekend. I love you all. Go do something you love, something that lifts you up, bring you joy. Every single day, do one thing. And then do self-care, drink tea, Epsom salt, bath, pray, meditate, whatever that is for you. Do that also at least once a day. And then look for the good in everything. Look, and when you see something that stands out about somebody, tell them. Tell them. It's going to change the world. And then write 10 things you're grateful for. Do these things, guys. This helps you have a different outlook on life and helps bring you up from the stuff that may have happened in your past, the trauma. It helps you start seeing the good. This helps you change your life. All right, guys, have a great day. I will write the spiritual messages, so look for those in a little bit, and uh, message me if you have any questions. Love you all. Bye. Thank you.